What is up YouTube? This is Ryan with Sports Card Rush. I'm back with another video. Today I have finally a blaster box of Prism Basketball. Yeah, it's been out for what, probably a month now, maybe? Uh, at least three or four, four weeks. Uh, and I just have not been able to find it. Uh, and if you've watched my latest kind of series of videos, I was able to pick up three items at a Target and then I picked up another at a different Target here on the Friday morning kind of new system or that has been existing and may not exist in the future here but got one blaster box of prison basketball six uh, packs per box and there's four packs or four six packs per box four cards per pack and these and I think a lot of people are disappointed with what's in these but um, I'll talk about it here when I open these I don't think it's that bad I think it's just you know it's it's a luck thing just based on the checklist. So I believe there are 300 base cards and there's 50 rookies. So your chances of getting rookies, rookie silvers and rookie greens is pretty limited. I think, you know, if, if the number of greens is even with rookies and, and position or non-rookies, then your chances of getting Rookies are pretty pretty rare. There are is a mem card in each of these, and a, well, a mem or autographed, but most of them are mems. And it looks like that top one looks a little thicker, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I think it's a little thicker. So we'll save that for the last, and we'll just see how we do here. Basically, looking for the rookies and that LeBron horizontal card would be nice to get. And so we start off with Clint Capella, and we do have a silver in here, Dwight Howard behind him, and so it's a sixer, not a rookie. Ben Simmons, though, that's not bad. You're going to get a, a sixer veteran, either him or Embiid, and behind that is a rookie. Oh, I like those colors. Nice. I've kind of gotten lucky here lately, well, relatively recently, uh, with Lamello. I got the orange laser out of Donruss, and now a base prism card out of my first box of prism I've been able to open. Centering actually looks really pretty good, maybe a little off left to right, just a tad. Up down looks good, and then the back. I don't see any print lines on there, which is pretty common. So that's a good looking card right there. We'll see how he turns out here. I think, I don't know, if the hype will match kind of what, what's been going on with the hobby. If it's kind of inflated this year versus, you know, is he Luca? I don't know, but his cards are selling like he is Luca. Um, obviously hurt, but still a great card to get. So let's just top that here in <laughs> the next five packs. Chris Middleton, Andrew Wiggins, have a rookie, uh, the Emergent, Emmanuel Quickly, who's I'm a big fan of, and a base guard, Ricky Rubio. Vincenzo, we do have another silver in here. Jalen Brown, pull from the back. We have a rookie. Tyrell Terry. And our second silver is a rookie. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I don't know if you can see that very well, but. There's terrible scratches on here. That is just brutal. Otherwise, it might be a little off left to right. This side's a little thicker than this side, but not by much. And I think it's a little thicker up here than it is down here, but I can't feel it. So it's not, 
not necessarily like a, a machine thing, or maybe it is, maybe it's the first layer and then when they, when they cover it with that gloss. But my goodness, this would be a huge card, and it is still a huge card, but it's dinged. It's unfortunate, but I don't think you could really be. I, so I get done talking about how these are, you need to lower your expectations on these blasters about you know, your luck of getting rookie silvers and uh, get the good rookies based on the checklist. <laughs> then I get a Mellow and a Wiseman silver. Unbelievable. Robert Covington, Jordan Poole, I have an insert, rookie insert though, <laughs> Anthony Edwards, instant impact, and I will take that, and then behind that, not a rookie, Christian Wood, two packs left, there's a green in here, got Patty Mills, J. Washington, let's pull from the back. Well, let's <laughs> a rookie green too. Uh, let's do this, the back one first here. Josh Green, and then our green rookie is Tyler Bay. So not great, but not, I mean I'll take a rookie green any day. And then our last pack, which should have our mem card. And there are prime versions. I think it's super rare, so I, maybe I'll reverse jinx myself here by say how rare they are. But we have Anthony Simons in the front, in the back. We have uh, Derek Rose, which actually, look at his name. His name is not as bright as the Simons. Okay, and behind that, Team USA card, Magic Johnson. These actually have been kind of hard to pull. I don't know why exactly but that's a nice one to get and then our mem card i think it's this way nope bbr and these can be veterans too oh bradley beal not bad just a nice red patch there well or jersey card and these are game worn use, so that's always nice too. They seem to do a pretty good job with that with Prism. So to recap here, I did very well, other than super bummed about the silver, but I can't complain too much because of the other stuff I got in here. Got the Magic Johnson USA card, which is nice. Nice green Tyler Bay rookie card. Josh Green rookie card. Instant Impact Anthony Edwards, just the base version. The beautiful uh, James Wiseman, other than the scuff here. You know, I, I've sent in two cards for replacement with Panini, and one of them I submitted in July of last year, one in August of last year, and I've heard nothing from them. And I've tried contacting, and basically they just say they're backed up. So I don't know if it's worth it or not. Maybe. I'll see. I mean, that's not a major defect, but it's a bummer still. Tyrell Terry, rookie card, and then the quickly emergent, and then the big one, the Lamello Ball base rookie card, which is pretty good centering wise. But that is it. I mean, I don't think you could pick out a better box um, card wise than that. Maybe if you were to get an autograph, but you know the autographs are usually kind of junky ones in the blaster. So, what do you think? Have you had any luck with these, or have you um, even been able to find these? Uh, obviously, I did well here, but not everyone can do that well. So, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below what you think. Thanks.